tones in your projects? Well, you've come to the right video because here I'm going to show you a couple tips on how to be a hopscotch composer extraordinaire. So why don't we look under the hood? So you're in the editor, grab a character, any character you want, and let's give them a new rule. So tap on add a new rule. And this is the when's menu. So here, let's pick when character is tapped. So now let's go to that super cool green tab down there called looks and sounds and pull out a start sound block. Great. So as you can see, there are a couple tabs here. So this is things. A lot of cool stuff there. We've got the notes you saw before. Other musical instruments. We got some cool nature right here. And of course people. So you might notice this little bubble over here with the number. So this will tell you how long you need to wait before the next thing happens. So if you want to tap on a character and you want to be able to tap on it randomly, you might want to make this a small number so that you can do that. But if you want to write a melody in this rule, then you want to be specific about what numbers you want. So if this is for 250 milliseconds, then the next note might want to be for twice that, and the next note might want to be that first number, and you can play around, and you can try and figure out how to make melodies with one tap. So play around, let's see what you make. I'm excited to see what you do with sounds.